Actually, Sikandar Mirza used to know my family very well because his mother was Iranian, no? Mm-hmm. So, he knew my family very well. So, when he was here, he came here, mm-hmm. he was very fond of me. Mm-hmm. And his wife, Nahid, mm-hmm. she also became very friendly with me, his second wife, you know, because mm-hmm. the women here protested against her for being the second wife and all that, you know. Mm-hmm. So, wherever she went, she always took me with her. Mm-hmm. She had little confidence with me around her, you know, mm-hmm. because she was afraid people might attack her or women might take a demonstration. Mm-hmm. So this one time they were going to Pindi, so she asked me to come with her to Pindi. And we went by train, so um, the next morning, uh, Nahid, it's in the afternoon, Nahid and myself were sitting on the sofa. Iskandar Mirza was playing bridge with Ayub Khan, Chundrigar, Iskandar and one other fellow, I don't know who it was. Iskandar had a great you know, uh, way of talking, you know. He had a sense of humor. Mm-hmm. And he kept telling Ayub Khan, you're cheating me. So, talking so loudly. So I looked, Nahid Rukhna, what is he talking about? I said, he's talking about cheating. You're cheating me, he's telling Ayub Khan. You're, you're just pulling his leg, you know. Mm-hmm. You're cheating. Maybe they were winning, he was mm-hmm. losing. You're mm-hmm. cheating. So we heard Ayub Khan say, no, sir. How can I cheat you? If you cut my hand, every drop of my blood will be saying, Iskandar, Iskandar, Iskandar. And then, mm-hmm. when Iskandar Mirza passed away in London, his wife wanted to bring him here. Mm-hmm. They would not allow him to come here. 